Hey, I'm Davina from Sheep and Stitch, and today I'll show you the long tail cast on using the thumb method. This is a great beginner cast on and we'll go through it step by step. All right, real quick, let's talk beginner materials. So I'm using Lion Brand's Hometown in the color Fort Lauderdale Coral. This is a bulky weight acrylic yarn, and I always recommend thicker yarns for beginners because they're easier to hold on to. And I'll throw a link to this yarn down in the description. I'm also using 10 millimeter bamboo needles. I'm a big fan of bamboo or wooden needles because both these needles have nice surface drag that grips the yarn and makes it less slippery to work with. Okay, now let's get on to casting on. All right, so first we need to determine how much yarn we need. And this is pretty easy. So if you know you want to knit a scarf that's like five inches wide, then you'll just multiply that by three. Okay, so that would be 15 inches. So let's just say I'm, I'm going to knit a scarf that's five inches wide. I'm going to, you know, eyeball about 15 inches of yarn. And that's where I'm going to start my cast on. So like, let's say that's like here, okay? <laughs> just for the sake of making things easier. Once I figured out my point where I want my cast on to be, then I'm gonna make a slip knot, okay? So what is a slip knot? Super easy. I'm going to make a loop with my yarn just like this. All right, so how did I do that? I just took, like held my yarn like this in my two hands and kind of brought my hands together, okay? And made a loop just like that, right? Bada bing bada boom all right bada bing bada boom that's it okay a little loop then I'm going to take my strand of yarn here and bring it behind the loop okay so that it kind of divides my loop in half okay so I'm gonna just hold that in place there then I'm gonna take my finger and just pick out that strand of yarn from my loop and pull it out and there you go now I've got a slip knot pretty cool right so let's do that again all right, no slip knot, and now I'm going to make a loop, okay, just like this, and I'm gonna hold that loop, take my strand of yarn, bring it behind the loop so that it is kind of in the middle of the loop, then I'm gonna just pick out that strand of yarn from my loop. Yeah, there we go. So now there's my slip knot. All right, so I'm gonna take my needle, I'm gonna put it into my slip knot just like that, all right? Now my slip knot is sitting on my needle and I'm going to grab these two strands of yarn and just pull them so that the slip knot tightens around my needle. It's nice and snug, oh yeah. So now I've got my slip knot. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my finger and just put it down on the slip knot. You can use two fingers if you want. I just wanna make sure that this slip knot isn't like rolling around when we're casting on, okay? So just use your right hand and just, you know, put it down on that stitch so that it's nice and secure. All right, let's get started. First, I'm gonna take my left hand, hello, <laughs> and I'm gonna go underneath this strand of yarn on the front and I'm gonna grab it with my four fingers, kind of like I'm making like a thumbs up sign. Okay, then I'm gonna take my thumb and I'm gonna go behind that strand of yarn and then up. So it's kind of looped around my thumb. Okay, so I'll show you that again. Left hand underneath the strand of yarn, grab it. Thumb goes behind that strand of yarn and we're going to twist it onto the thumb. Cool. Now we're gonna take our needle and we're gonna touch the front of our thumb and go into the loop that our thumb has made. All right, just like that. So let's do that again. Here's my needle. I'm going to touch the front of my thumb and go into the loop on my thumb. Cool. All right, so now this strand of yarn that's attached to our ball of yarn, it wants to get some action too, right? It's been kind of left out of this game. So we're gonna take that strand of yarn, wrap it around, our needle okay so from the back to the front okay and then I'm gonna take this loop on my thumb and bring it over the needle and then drop everything let it all go take the strand of yarn in the front pull it down all right and that is our first cast on stitch using the long tail cast on pretty cool right so this is, I know this probably seems really crazy and confusing and don't worry, we're gonna go through this again a couple times, all right? So let's continue. All right, let's take our left hand, go underneath the strand of yarn, grab it, take our thumb, go behind that yarn. So we're gonna take our thumb, 
go behind the yarn, pick it up, and kind of twist it so it's around our thumb. Then I'm gonna take my needle and touch the front of my thumb and then go into the loop, okay? Into the loop that my thumb has made. All right, and now I'm going to take this strand of yarn attached to my ball of yarn, and I'm gonna go around the needle from the back to the front, okay? Then we're gonna take this loop on our thumb and bring it over our needle, let it go, pull down. And that is our third cast on stitch. So if your stitches are kind of loose, you can just take both strands of yarn and just pull them to tighten up that stitch, okay? So let's do that again. Left hand under the yarn, grab it, our thumb goes behind the strand of yarn and our needle touches the front of our thumb, goes into the loop, and then our yarn attached to our ball goes behind the needle to the front. The loop on our thumb, we're gonna bring that over the needle and pull down. Everything is nice and tight now. Pretty cool, right? So let's keep on going. Left hand, grab, thumb behind to the front, needle, touches the thumb, goes through the loop, yarn attached to the ball, goes from behind the needle to the front, loop on the thumb goes over the needle, and pull down. So continue doing this, and cast on the number of stitches that you need for your pattern. And once you have the number of stitches that you need, then you can start knitting. So that's all there is to the long tail cast on using the thumb method. You know, if this is confusing you and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't do this, just keep practicing. It's gonna take you a couple times to really get it. That's perfectly normal, okay? So just keep at it and before long, you're gonna have a really nice cast on that you can start knitting into. As you're casting on, you'll notice that the yarn tail in the front is getting shorter and shorter. Remember when we started, it was like really long and luscious and now it's this tiny little tail. So that's what happens when you cast on with the long tail cast on. This little strand of yarn gets shorter and shorter. That's why at the very beginning, I mentioned that you should measure out how much yarn you'll need for your cast on. So that's just a little reminder of why you need to measure out your yarn before you start casting on. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is part of the How to Knit series. If you wanna check out the whole series, then head to sheepandstitch.com slash how dash to dash knit. It's an awesome page that I put together to help out beginners. It'll bring you from total noob to bona fide knitter. It's great and it's free. Okay, lastly, subscribe for more cool knitting videos. And if you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. I'm Davina from sheepandstitch.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.